today I'd like to talk to you about the advanced simulation capabilities of the Dassault Systems 3D Experience Cloud Platform, specifically Structural Performance Engineer and Structural Mechanics Engineer. I'm doing this, I hope to answer three simple questions. What is it? Who is it for? And how does it work? So let's get started with what this is. Structural Performance Engineer and Structural Mechanics Engineer, or SPE and SME, are products available on the 3D Experience platform, which if you're not familiar, provides a single collaborative cloud environment for all Dassault Systems products, such as the powerful simulation tools of the Simulia brand. The 3D Experience facilitates connection and collaboration between these different softwares with all the low overhead benefits of cloud software. The 3D Experience simulation tools are really powerful using the market-leading Abacus Solver technology. All parts automatically have no penetration contact by default, saving time in setting up problems with a lot of contacting faces. This extends to the advanced meshing tools, including hex meshes, as well as a wide range of material models. We also have the ability to import the model, materials, and even the study setup directly from SolidWorks with the setup assistant panel to guide you through any remaining steps. And because it's cloud connected, large models can be solved remotely with cloud computing and you have all the benefits to collaborate, share, and reuse data provided by the 3D experience. Both SPE and SME are rich clients, meaning they do get installed on your local computer. But for the computations, we can choose to solve the studies locally or free up your local machines by running the simulations on the cloud. Solving locally with more than four cores or solving on the cloud consumes credits or tokens which get purchased in advance. Tokens are like SolidWorks network licensing. When a user runs a simulation, they take tokens from a pool and these are returned for others to solve with after completion. Credits are consumed whether cloud computing or unlocking additional local cores. And results can be easily stored and shared in the cloud space. If you're wondering if your computer is compatible or capable, it probably is, but you can check right now using the cloud eligibility tool found at 3ds.com. First, let's take a look at Structural Performance Engineer, which allows us to solve linear and nonlinear static, frequency and buckling, modal dynamic response, thermal and thermal stress studies. In fact, all simulations run in SPE utilize the Abacus nonlinear solvers. Additionally, all contact is treated as no penetration by default, and while you can change this, there is no need to manually define contact pairs between components. Abacus also brings us a wide array of new meshing tools, such as brick and quad elements, continuum shell elements, and much more. On top of this, even more advanced analysis can be performed using Structural Mechanics Engineer, or SME. It includes all of the capabilities of SPE, plus the powerful Abacus Explicit Solver to analyze high-speed dynamic problems like the one shown in this animation. It also includes a tool to fit data curves from physical material testing to create new material models and tools that allow us to modify and simplify geometry directly inside of SME. SME's explicit solver allows us to solve nonlinear dynamic, quasi-static, complex frequency, random vibration, and submodeling problems. Examples of this include drop tests, impacts, crash tests, and snap fits. So, who are these advanced simulation tools for exactly? Well, they're for engineers with an FEA background who are simply looking for more power, better accuracy, and increased speed. They're also for analysts who may be familiar with other high-end, disconnected FEA tools on the market. And because we're on the cloud, this is for engineering teams who need a better way to collaborate and easily share simulation results as well as companies who do not want to invest in more hardware, infrastructure, and IT resources, and are open to cloud simulations. If you're familiar with the SOLIDWORKS simulation tools, but you're looking for additional capabilities and power, well, these tools connect to SOLIDWORKS, and they simply take you to the next level. So let's dig into how this actually works 
starting with SPE or Structural Professional Engineer. SOLIDWORKS parts and assemblies, materials, and even the study setup can be transferred to SPE or SME using the 3D Experience Simulation Connector add-in from within SOLIDWORKS. In this rubber bumper, bumper example, the study is first set up in SOLIDWORKS Simulation Premium. Due to the highly nonlinear nature of this study, because of the nonlinearities in the material, high deformation, and changing contact conditions, the simulation is only able to make it through about 60% of the study before stopping. From SOLIDWORKS, you can then use the simulation connector to transfer the study to the 3D Experience simulation apps. The SOLIDWORKS model opens automatically in SPE, transferring the geometry, loads, and boundary condition setup, and materials with only the mesh requiring further input. Now the study solves to 100%, and the results are viewed in the same environment. Back over to SOLIDWORKS for any design change, the model gets saved to 3D Experience. This means the simulation in SPE automatically updates with the click of a button, so there's no need to recreate the simulation setup for design changes. Simply rerun the simulation to see the new results. Now the design decision is made and shared with others using the 3D Experience collaboration tools. Let's take a closer look at this software in action. Here we have a three-point bending simulation set up in SOLIDWORKS. To connect it to the 3D experience and access the Abacus solvers, we simply need to check on the simulation connector add-in from the add-ins list. The connector will take our existing simulation setup and push it to Simulation Performance Engineer on the 3D experience platform. Looking at the task pane, we can review the simulation features that will be mapped into SPE along with a description of how SPE will handle each feature. With the push of a button, we move into SPE, where we can not only review and make changes to the study setup, but access cloud computing, advanced contacts, meshing, material models, and more. The one-click connector makes it easy to move from the familiar tools of SOLIDWORKS to SPE, where an action bar is found at the bottom and a historic tree is on the left. If you get lost, an assistant panel on the right can keep you on track. So let's complete this setup, starting with interactions or contacts. Contacts here is really a game changer because we don't need to individually create contact pairs. In fact, all faces, touching or not, are treated as no penetration, which is going to allow them to slide, separate, collide, and even develop contact pressure. Friction is automatically accounted for and can be modified, and there are automated approaches to changing to bonded or other contacts, but this is the most realistic setup, and in fact, it's the default. Now, simulations like this are never truly a linear solution, so the solver here is always nonlinear, and you have control over these solver settings to ensure adequate resolutions. Materials are also nonlinear, and SPE offers a wide range of material models from linear elastic to advanced hyperelastic, temperature dependent, even creep models. Now for the support beams, we can get rid of the mesh from SOLIDWORKS and replace it with a nice structured swept brick mesh. This meshing scheme will speed up solve time and ensure greater accuracy. Now, a small study like this can be run locally, and results are available in minutes. For larger problems, cloud computing or greater local core utilization is available. When we're looking at the results that come out of this, we can see the model will go through a full range of motion and highlight to others where plastic deformation is going to occur. Because of high strain, localized buckling, and complex contact, this scenario was actually beyond the scope of what could be solved in SOLIDWORKS simulation alone. With the integration of SOLIDWORKS, I can now make design changes and have them immediately reflected in SPE as well, allowing me to evaluate multiple designs and load cases with this level of complexity. With 3D Experience simulation tools, we're able to leverage existing SOLIDWORKS simulations and use the powerful Abacus solver on complex problems. Whether it's reducing run times or solving problems previously beyond the capabilities of SOLIDWORKS, the 3D experience provides a robust solution. Here you can see a few examples of the nonlinear capabilities of Simulation Performance Engineer on the 3D experience platform. Simulations with nonlinear materials, contact nonlinearity, and even permanent deformation 
are solved quickly and completely. In fact, even separation of the mesh itself is possible, as well as complete buckling behavior beyond the point of failure. But wait, guys, there is more with the exact same interface and capabilities, just simply extended or expanded when we start talking about structural mechanics engineer. As I mentioned earlier, SME's explicit solver allows us to solve nonlinear dynamic, quasi static, complex frequency, random vibration, and submodeling problems. So examples of this type include drop tests, impacts, crash tests, and snap fits. This goes beyond SPE by adding in dynamics. It includes all of the capabilities of SPE plus the powerful Abacus Explicit Solver to account for inertia and high-speed dynamic contact. Just like an SPE, the workflow is very similar. SolidWorks parts and assemblies, materials, and even the study setup can be transferred to SME using the same 3D experience simulation connector add-in from within SolidWorks. When a design change is made in SOLIDWORKS, the update is pushed through into SME where design comparisons can be rerun. And of course, in either of these tools, you can directly import files and set them up from scratch if you would prefer that workflow. These examples show nonlinear dynamic high-speed event simulations. With the Abacus Explicit Solver, SOLIDWORKS users can now solve these types of very advanced problems including drop tests with complex contacts, impact, and crushing with self-contacts and extreme deformations. If you'd like to learn more about the simulation capabilities or set up a live demonstration, please reach out to us today.